Shalom amigos, this is Tessington, and I just wanted to thank you guys so much, as I've been wanting to do for a while, for getting me to and above 100 subscribers. I've been wanting to do it for a while, as I've already said, but I didn't know how. But I figured it out. I'm going to go by for the two general things that I've mainly got subscribers for. What I mean by that is, if you have subscribed to me for my recent videos on customization, well, mates, there's more customization available. In fact, more desktop environments available. Follow the link in the description and you'll come across a huge list of desktop environments. I will learn whichever one that you want me to learn and tell you how to customize it. And of course, get in as much detail as I possibly can. Okay. It's entirely if you want to. You don't have to. And there are some desktop environments here that are not even mentioned, for example, Cinnamon and Razer QT. So keep that in mind, post a comment, and I will do it just for you guys. In the meantime though, I will show you at least one thing that I have done to bring you even more customization. As I open up my XFCE, yes, this is really my XFCE, I'm running Ubuntu 12.04 in a virtual box, in which I have installed XFCE and done a bit of customization. Oops, sorry. But you saw, I ran, hit out of 2, I typed in unity-2d-launcher, so keep in mind that you have to know what things are called to your system, and the unity-2d launcher comes up, fits in quite nicely with the panels. I show it is fully functional, and we have a hybrid of unity and XFCE. How cool is that? The same can apply for KDE, LXDE, or whatever you want to do. Further customization has now opened, ladies and gentlemen. So, have fun with that. Careful not to break your system, though. Now, for those who have subscribed to me for the gaming, I have recently purchased a gamepad for my computer in case you couldn't tell from my previous video. I soon found QJoyPad, downloaded it, extracted it, went to CD, the source, typed in the three basic commands, dot slash configure, make, and make install. After that you should have QJoyPad easily installed. In which case, you can hit Alt F2 and start the thing. Pay no attention to Joystick 1, that's just the broken analog stick on this laptop, but Joystick 2 is the actual gamepad, which is detected by the system. It's a basic Steel Series 3G. Oh, and uh, for Ubuntu users, I'm pretty sure that KDE has joystick stuff installed by default, and you will have to install a calibrator of a sorts, I'm not entirely sure. So do some googling if you must. But QJoyPad is definitely the program to have if you're trying to set it for some things it's not really set for. Again, I purchased this thing, so I'm going to use the heck out of it. Uh, it's easy to press the quick set option, and then just press a button on the joypad and press a button on the keyboard that will correspond to it. Easy peasy. I do show though that this particular joypad presses more than one key at once for two specific keys. Luckily, there is a second mode for me, in which case I have just these two, which I am showing. The first one, I was not able to work around it, but for the second one, I was able to get the one that is interfering and simply not set it to anything, so I can completely ignore it. As for mouse, you will want to have a gradient on, otherwise things will not work properly, and you'll want to be careful with your mouse speed. In my previous video, I had it set to 50, because if somebody's coming at me from behind, I want to be able to beat them and shoot them. However, I realized that precision is necessary, and I don't really need to beat him if I'm not in the line of fire. In other words, I move back, well, around, and shoot him while I'm still turning. Since I generally have wide screens, I have it set to 12 by 15, keeping in mind distance from here and distance from here. And I'll show you that it's clearly working. One of the cooler things about QJoyPad, by the way, is that you can actually set up multiple layouts for multiple games. Finally, about the games themselves. Desura, Linux Gamers, we have Desura, it is officially released. I show that one of its dependencies, 
is GTK2. If you don't have it installed, you won't be able to install the Sura. So sorry for those of you who are trying to keep your desktop or your whatever GTK free and game at the same time. But really, you shouldn't see that coming. But anyway, there is another dependency that I know of, at least for uh, me in Chakra Linux, the Chakra project. It prevents you from getting a, any interface and doing almost anything. So, work around it. You gotta find this little thing called gconf. After I install it and start up the sewer again, I now have an interface. Though videos still do not work, everything else does, and that's the important bit. So, have fun gaming. Be sure to get back to me if you want me to talk about any of the desktop environments from freedesktop.org forward slash wiki forward slash desktops, link in the description. Uh, since I didn't actually find out on how to get XFCE to look like Genome 2, links will be in the description for a tutorial for that. It's actually pretty neat. And of course, link in the description for QJoyPad. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment. You know, if you want. Thank you guys again so much for subscribing. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Shalom, amigos.